nonetheless. So we get into our next uh, discussion and I've got uh, somebody very interesting here as we're going to be talking about sports tourism. Now I'm going to be having a chat with the Tapiwa Ziavaya who is a sprouting sports uh, tourism uh, practitioner specializing in sporting events management, destination marketing and athlete brand management. He is also a youth sports leader with the Zimbabwe Olympic uh, Committee. A uh, Good afternoon to you Tapiwa Piwa and welcome to the Capital Weekend Sports Show. Good afternoon, Rimbo. How are you doing? So super excited to be on your show. All right, absolutely great, Tapio. So uh, I, I usually tend to ask this question. I mean, you you, you could have chosen anything else. Uh, you could have become a doctor. You could have become a lawyer, a teacher, like we used to get in school. But what drove you to sports tourism? So basically, I started, you know, fell in love with sports. In my high school days, I was playing tennis at Prince Edward School. And my love for travel made me join the tourism side. So joining my passion and my, uh, my love for tourism made me a uh, tourist practitioner. All right, so that that definitely is good. So before we 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 get to the other very meaty stuff we're gonna talk about, uh, how did you become like a youth sports leader with the Zimbabwe Olympic Committee? Is it something that everybody can become, or is it something that you are actually specifically selected for? So way back in 2015, they ran um, a program for youth sports leaders under their Olympic Africa Center located at Prince Edward, and I was one fortunate to be one of the few people selected to attend the program. And since then, I have been uh, working under the centre and doing more of events coordinating through the centre. All right, so does it just specifically talk about events or, or rather entail events coordination or do you also do other things um, that are on the ground and in the growth and development of sport? Definitely. Currently, we are doing an athlete brain management for our current Zim uh, Athletics with a few uh, associations actually joining in into the um, course. So we have uh, the Swimming Sensation Donata uh, Katai in our stable uh, and our brand, which we are writing with HK Media. And uh, we're just trying to push the brand for athletes to go on to be very ambassadors of different uh, companies, corporate uh, firms and everything else. So that's basically what we are doing right now. And with the new normal, we are also running uh, webinars and web uh, seminars online. Mm, very interesting stuff. We'll definitely want to join on some of those webinars. So let's talk about sports tourism in particular. I mean, the way that it's done out there, it's absolutely massive. We see how football teams go and tour in Asia. We see how teams may go and uh, come to South Africa. We saw Manchester United come down to South Africa and actually play Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates and things like that. Uh, here in Zimbabwe, we've had a little bit of a taste of that when we saw uh, Barcelona legends coming through. We also saw Brazil also coming through and playing a friendly with our Warriors. Are we doing enough, in your opinion, in that aspect? When it comes to the landscape of socialism, I would like to believe we are actually doing quite a lot. Uh, like you mentioned earlier, we've got lots of uh, international events that are actually happening in Zimbabwe. Uh, despite uh, the little uh, mishap in terms of uh, the COVID-19, but in previous years we have actually managed to host uh, quite a number of international events and athletes, which actually expose the nation to. Uh, to the international committee. I would just name a few, the ones that I was fortunate enough to be um, a local organizing committee member of. Uh, the recent uh, held ATU, a triathlon African Cup, uh, held at Trotbeck. And it shows that Zimbabwe is truly ready to host uh, international events. And it's just a matter of um, collaboration between the practitioners in the industry to actually bring more events in the country. 
All right. So I am talking to Tapiwa Ziavaya, who is a sports tourism practitioner, and is is talking about that we seem to be ready. But I would also then come through and and pose this question to you. Uh, I'm sure you've seen even within the headlines or heard here on Capital 100.4 FM, as we have been talking about the issue of infrastructure. Our infrastructure seems to be derelict at the moment. We are uh, currently in the process of trying to refurbish and renovate to get the likes of CAF to approve. So in as much as we might be primed for it, uh, don't you think that infrastructurally we are not yet ready? Definitely. Infrastructurally we're not yet ready. But those are things that can actually um, uh, solve as we go with uh, a little bit of, like I said, inclusive collaboration with private sector and uh, the public sector related organizations which are uh, if we actually manage to bring some of the events into the country, that will also imply that we need to upgrade some of the facilities that we have. And it's a thing that can be solved with a better collaboration and sponsorship. All right. So whilst uh, you were talking about you being a youth sports leader with Zimbabwe o Olympic Committee and, and working with athletes' brands, uh, how far has the conversation gone between you um, as the Zimbabwe Olympic Committee, I would say, since you're a part of that, as well as the likes of the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority with uh, various uh, national parks or maybe with Zimbabwe National Parks and Wildlife, how far have we gone to try and cultivate those things? so that we can have or those kinds of relationships, so that we can have the kinds of sports tourism that will contribute to our GDP. Definitely. And I'm actually uh, quite aware of a sporting activity that can actually happen in, a, in like in Zimbabwe and uh, with Zimbabwe Tourism Authority related uh, uh, services. Since sports tourism is an amalgamation of different uh, service sectors actually falls upon uh, every sector to contribute its part in providing the rightful uh, atmosphere when it comes to social tourism. So, for instance, um, recently uh, the opening of the Zimpax allowed uh, shooters to actually do a little bit of uh, a sporting court shooting, which is actually helping in uh, attracting. Uh, tourists into the destination that we have in, in the park that we have and at the same time enjoying a little bit of uh, sporting activity. So it's something that can be worked on and we are currently uh, involved in getting everyone involved in that all right, so uh, the involvement is definitely necessary. You can also come through with your questions or your contributions. Do you also think that sports tourism is being done enough in Zimbabwe? It seems like uh, there are activities that are happening behind the scenes. You can get in touch with us on 0719-100404. So uh, just to come back to you, you are currently pursuing a master's in sports management and majoring in sports marketing. Uh, can I irk you and, and maybe poke you and say, are you looking to become part of uh, the sports associations? Are you looking to have a presidential seat maybe in tennis? <laughs> probably, I would go for the administration side of things you know, to probably SRC and eventually probably Zimbabwe Olympic Committee that's definitely what we, we are trying to achieve uh, when it comes to all right. So just uh, one last question I would want to ask is in terms of sporting, uh, sports marketing here in Zimbabwe, you talked about athletes, brand management, sports marketing here in Zimbabwe. Are we doing enough? There's a lot still to be done, but like I said earlier, there's a lot happening in the sporting and tourism sector that is not well known to everyone else. I'll give an example. There's a company called uh, Play by Play. Um, incorporated that sort that is uh, being run by Munyangweni and it's actually coming up with them actually signing off um, some of the great players in Zimbabwe and putting the players that they have on the map. So it's something that's happening that needs to be showcased through more marketing probably and uh, content related to sports tourism and I definitely to definitely get out, the word out there. All right, so we'll be looking forward to seeing all of those uh, things that you are actually up to. But Tapiwa, thank you so much for your time. 
uh, this afternoon and coming through on Capital to just let us know what uh, sports tourism is really all about, what you are up to right now. And we hope to see uh, all those things coming to fruition. And, and who knows, maybe that uh, masters you're pushing for in sports management will be interviewing you here <laughs> as one of those in charge of sporting associations. Thank you so much for having me, Rubimbo. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right. So that was Tapiwa Ziyawaya who came through there. He is a sports tourism practitioner and saying that, look, there is more that needs to be done, more collaborations that need to come through in order for us to realize the true potential of what sports tourism can do. Not only.